we're learning to play melody in G. We can play the whole piece now just with chords in the left hand with the melody. Now, if that's all happening okay, and you can play through all of that, it's time to look at this next bit. If not, you need to go back to the previous videos and make sure you've been through those really thoroughly. Now, moving on with it, let's look at this left hand again, these chords, the G down to a D, G down. If you have a look in the music, you can see that actually they're individual notes. And so what's happening here is, yes, we have got these chords, but we're using these as shapes rather than actual chords. And the shape that we're, uh, we're gonna play is like this. So it goes bottom, middle, top, middle, and that happens on most of the chords. So the first bar is in a G position, so it goes bottom, middle, top, middle, and we'll pause, down to the D position, and then we have the same pattern, bottom, middle, top, middle, pause, back up to the G position, bottom, middle, top, middle, and pause, move to the D, now have a look at the music. At the end of the first line, it goes bottom, middle, top, and stops. Bottom, middle, top. Going on to the second line, go back to the G chord. Bottom, middle, top, middle, pause. Down to the C chord. Bottom, middle, top, middle, pause. Move to the D position. Bottom, middle, top, middle, pause for the end, bottom, middle, bottom. Notice if you have a look at your music, it doesn't go bottom, middle, top, it goes bottom, middle and back down. So I was just pausing between the hand positions as we moved there, but what we're aiming for now is to get those to flow from one position to another. So we've got something like this. D position. Down to the C position, up one to the D position, returning to the G position, and back down on the last note. Let's see how that would work now with the tune. So you'll probably need to pause this video a few times and go back over what I've just shown you there. But when you're happy that you've got these nice, what we call broken chords, um, it's time to try and put the mel melody over it so we get this. set up the next thing so the right hand's just going to stay where it is two five pause move your left hand back to the g chord one three pause down to the d position second finger's going to be held here so that's the end of the line then second line back to the g position now, if you have a quick glance at the music, can you see the right hand and the left hand are all moving at the same time now? So we're going to get this. Now, it should go straight on, but you'll need a moment just to set up. Got your second ready there. Down in the C position, we walk up. And then there's that extra note in the left hand, which you can see in the music. Then the D position, hold on the three, and then they move together, and then back to the G. So you might want to pause this and try that a few, watch that a few times, try it a few times for yourself. The final thing though will work like this. to notice instead of doing this and hopping all the way up as I only had two notes to play there I did this instead and just used that onto there it's just a smoother way of playing it it's not a hugely important thing but it's just a slightly more elegant way of finishing the piece